All right, guys, I'm back in the gym. Today is Wednesday, June 26, 2024. We're back to painting. I'm down to one gallon of paint. I did get the TV bracket removed and that speaker that was up there removed. Don't no longer need that. And I got a full cup of paint and I'm fixing to get busy. I know I need... I'm not sure if it's going to be one or two more gallons, so I figured I'd empty this one and see where I'm at. This is all still just one coat of paint that you saw in the last episode and just started putting some on there and decided I better record a little bit. It's a real bitch getting behind these machines, and I really don't feel like moving them all. Got to take those face plates off, the electrical plates. But all right, let me get started. All right, guys, it's about 30 minutes later. I know it's hard to see. I still haven't put that light up yet. I made it to the edge of the doorway with a quart of paint. So yeah, I'm getting there. Yeah, I don't really know. I'm thinking now, maybe a gallon. I don't know. It's really easy to put the second coat on. The spurt soaks up so much paint. And I mean, I'm missing up top up there. I'm going to wait until I have my trim brush to do all the around the trim and all. So all I'm doing is down close. The squeeze in between all this is a big pain in the butt. Getting around that cap machine because it's not moving. Got to figure a way of climbing up on top of it, I think. Because I still got to remove that speaker and take all the photos down. And these photos aren't going back, by the way. These are uh, going into another room. We'll be all bodybuilding in here when I get through. All right, let's get back at it. Okay, only if you're 60, but still scary. I hate to say this, but you're getting too old for this shit. All right, now I gotta get some paint and climb up there with a big bucket of paint. Hmm, wonder how much I will spill. All right, home alone too, by the way, so if you don't hear from me in a few weeks, call an ambulance. Nobody found me. I was squished down in there somewhere. All right, guys, I got that corner done. Yay. I still got trimming out at the top and the bottom, but the majority of it's done. That was a nightmare. And I'm sure I broke every rule. I won't even say their name. But I'm sure I broke a lot of their rules. Anyhow, I ran out of paint while I was hanging upside down from that vent. And now, uh, I'm going to take a break, and then I'm going to come back and at least get a coat of red on everything in here. I really only got this wall there, and up top, and then this brown, and that brown. But I can get to those a little better than that. Oh my god. That took about an hour. And I won't have those mystery bruises tomorrow, you know, where you wake up one day, you know, how did that happen? First, let me take a selfie. Yeah, 
right here in this general area okay let me take a quick break and i'll be back all right guys today is july the third wednesday 2024 we're back at the gym again i know slow progress and the gym's still a mess Making working out very difficult. Matter of fact, I've skipped the last two days. I just didn't feel like moving stuff around. All right, here's where we stand. The Smith machine area now has two coats of paint on the roof and both walls. The scary part is I started somewhere or stopped somewhere around here and can barely tell, but there's only one coat of paint still on that section but all this has two coats so the good news is i can bring the smith machine back in i gotta do a little cleaning now and get all this old sheetrock stuff i did throw the two big sheetrock pieces away i gotta get that tv out of here and all these posters and get all this mess cleaned up clean up this machine a little bit it got some sheetrock dust on it all right, let me get at it and I'll be back with you. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering why I'm wearing this Crunch Fitness t-shirt, it's not because I like it, it's because it's expendable. You're not expendable. I got it for free and don't really care for the gym, to be honest with you. My wife loves it. But anyhow, back on to the cleaning. All right, guys, happy 4th of July. The gym's getting back in shape. I got the Smith machine moved back to its permanent place. I slid this machine over a little bit to give me more room. I still got plenty of room to walk through. The ladder's still in here because, as you can see, it's still got painting to do. Hoping to get all the painting done this week. Got tons of room right now. I put the old fitness gear uh, rack out here. Because basically all I need is a flat bench. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably order me a rep, uh, just flat power bench. I do really like the rep equipment. And this has been a great piece of equipment until I got this rep bench and man this is just night and day better uh, but anyhow i still gotta move that dumbbell rack over i'm trying to find a a, a holder for my bars tried to order one the other day and they were out of stock so hoping the next day or two they'll be back in stock i still got to get everything off the floor but it's getting close just wanted to give y'all an update. And uh, I'm gonna start trying to get back into lifting now. A little bit more hardcore. Try to get some size back on. I am puny now. All right, just wanted to, oh yeah, I did get this little thing, which works good, because this clears out this area back here. Even though I still got some stuff on here. It's still a work in progress. And yeah, I've got a lot more equipment gonna be coming. Anyhow, I will get back with y'all later.